But this is interesting at this point in the race that she's moved so far back at a crucial point on this descent because you can just see her there on the wheel of Juliette Labousse. She's come to get she's come to get Vollering. She dropped back there. She's gone to get Vollering, and now Vollering is on the wheel of Lotta Kopecky, and the world champion is bringing the Dutch champion to the front right on time. Do they get on, don't they? All the talk of who'll stay, who'll go. It's all hands to the pump here. Team left turn, final Kalberg. The breakaway takes it with only 10 seconds of a gap. Here they come. It's who's going to blink first. Look at this. Led out by Lucinda Brand, and Spratt is on fire here. They're letting the gap go. And now Longo Borghini is on the radio to Spratt saying, you've got a move, you've got a gap. The lights have gone out in the back because the job has been done today. We've seen the world champion turn domestique, and that's that for Lotta Kopecky. But it's certainly not that for Nivia Doma or for Xavi. Nivia Doma it is who's moving up. Where they've made the junction with the leading trio, Eva Van Acht is still there now for Mariana Vos. And so Eva Van Acht will do the work on the front just to make sure that it, it is Going again. kept at a, a good pace to how Mariana Vos wants to ride now. And now, look who's back. Mavi Garcia moves, and Anna Henderson is there yet again. She's having a great race today, considering she's not too many races back. Gasparini is there for UAE ADQ, just a little bit further back, perhaps a little too far back in this group. And now this is interesting because Vollering, despite being the Dutch champion and really wanting to try and back up that victory from last year, she's on the front because she knows Vibis can try and win here into the headwind, 500 metres to go. It looks as though we're going to have a bunch sprint at the end of a short, sharp and furious rejig, rearranged Amstel Gold Race following a crash earlier on today. Now then, they're being led out and Henderson is on the wheel here of Fonac. Further back is Foss, she will follow. Longo Borghini moving up, 350 metres to go. On the left-hand side, they're going to try with Canyon Shan to do whatever they can to move up. It looks as though there's a real opportunity to do something there as well. And here goes Longo Borghini, but look at Vibers on the right-hand side. She's moving up, she's seen the gap, she's through the gap, and Lorena Vibers is through. Lorena Vibers walks away with it, and it's Lorena no. Vibers. No, no, no! Celebrating on the line and she may well have just been pipped there Lorena Vibes arms in the air but Mariana Foss coming round so much action she entertainment will. she's not sure she's not sure you're right yes! oh yes now she does she'd better know it Lorena Vibes committing the cardinal sin of celebrating too it's early yeah, yeah. it was so easy for Vibes for a while yeah. There we go, celebrates away, but we know it's not over till it's over. And it's half a wheel length in the end for Mariana Voss. Utter embarrassment for Lorena Vibers. And it is all the way to the last pedal stroke. Mariana Voss wins. It's Voss, it's Vibers. And in third place, it's Goskien. Oh my, it ain't over to the final pedal stroke. And here we go again, just look at it a bit further back. Talk us through this, Hannah. Yeah, you can just see on the right-hand side, it's Canyon Sram who start to open things up with Elise Chabé, and then Elisa longo goes on the left-hand side. And this was the moment where Lorena Vives got boxed in on the left-hand side of the barriers. In the end, she moved over to the right-hand side, looked to the right, saw no one was there, but still Voss was coming with speed, and Voss trailed her all the way through being boxed in on that left-hand side. The throat of the line, that lunge is not over till it's over. Ah, uh, well, you feel for her, you feel for her, because that is something that she'll be forced to watch, she'll be reminded about, and will she ever have another opportunity to win a race this difficult? But right now, and you can see for her road captain, Elena Cicchini, just trying to provide some, and console her, just to try and provide her with some comfort, but of course, it's, it's incredibly difficult, it's not just, you know, the, the embarrassment, it's, it's a huge moment, it's a, a big, big race, it's huge for her, and every time she pins a number on, she wants to win. It's that competitive streak. It's not the being beaten here, it's the manner in which she's lost, because in terms of being at, she could have won that. She did win it, in all, in all effects, 